Hi, good afternoon. Today I'm going to show you how to post ears. So what you're going to need is two easy items, bounty towels or any towels to clean, um, and sports tape. You can find this at Target, Walmart, supply stores. It has to be sports tape and it has to be um, the athletic one. It can't be the plastic one. It has to be this one. Okay, so first you measure from the canal of your dog's ears to the tip. This is how, this is the length of my puppies. So these are the, this is a full bounty towel, but since my puppies are small, I cut it in half and I only use half and half. One for each ear. So how I start it is I fold it. And the opposite side, fold it again, and then I start rolling. Simple. Roll, 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 roll. It's gonna look like this. So then you grab your tape. You start sticky side down. So the adhesive is down, it's on the wrap. And you just roll it all the way up. Remember, this is gonna go inside your puppy's ear, so you wanna make it as comfortable as possible. So any creases that you make, going to be painful. You don't want to do that. You want to make it as even as you can. Adhesive side towards the bounty towel. So you just roll it. As you can see, I made it just a little thinner and then it goes thicker on top. Well, the thinner side is going to go inside the ear canal. So you keep rolling until you get to the base of the top of the ear post, also known as a rod. So then when you get to the tip, it's already connected. You're gonna flip it over, adhesive, side up. So sticky side up, in other words. It gets a little tricky because it gets sticky, but keep pulling it. Try not to touch it that much, because remember your fingers have natural oils and you don't want that in your puppy's ears. This is how it should look, adhesive side up. This is gonna stick to your puppy's ears. I already have two of them. So then you're gonna need four pieces of tape. This one, a small one, probably let me say like two inches, give or take. This is gonna be for the top of the ear. You're gonna need two. Then you're gonna need one a little larger than that one. This is going to be for the middle of the ear, and it's okay if it's a little longer, don't worry. And then you're going to need another one for the base, and this one's just going to be just a tad longer. So, and then you bring your victim, and I'll show you how to post. Hello, so this is my puppy. He is actually one of Duke's babies that just dropped. He's only nine weeks old. He is available if you guys are interested. Very important you make this as comfortable as possible for your puppy because it is going to be a long, long process. No bubbles. So what you're going to do, grab your puppy. Put this to the bottom of the ear canal, as close as you could get it. Pull this up, the tip of the ear, pull it up, and then stick it. It's gonna look like this. Make sure you pull. You have to pull the ear. You have to pull it. So then you grab one of the tapes Make sure this natural flap stays flapping this way. So you start there, natural flap. You go over it. But I don't know how much I could stress is do not pull the tape. Do not pull the tape. Because you cut circulation to your puppies. Then you grab the smaller one and you start. And you roll. Do not. Again, pull the tape. Just place it. That's all you got to do is place it. 
That's how it's gonna look. So you grab your rod, you pull the ear, you put your rod into the bottom of the canal and you pull, make sure this is placed, you pull the ear and you place like that. You see, so you're not hurting your puppy. You grab your base tape, you start at an angle, you pull, make sure the natural flap is the natural way. When you pull your tape, you're just placing, you're not pulling tight. You're just placing the tape and then you squeeze. You grab the other tape for the tip, start with the tip, make sure the natural flap is there, but do not pull the ear, the tape. You know, this is how it's gonna look. This is how your puppy looks. This is fine. So what you're gonna do, because remember you had three pieces, now this is the middle, the, the middle ones. So you're gonna start at an angle and just roll around, that's it. People say it's too much tape, but trust me, they're puppies. They play so much that this tape will be, if you don't place it right, and put just a little extra, they'll take this tape posting in a day. There it is. And then I'm gonna show you how to do the bridge. So the way the bridge works is to see how you like your dog's ears. So right now in the puppy, when he's alert, his ears will go like this. That's where you want them. So you want the ear cartilage to go right here. So I'm gonna put a bridge right about here. So when he's alert, it goes here. So the bridge is gonna go here. So how do you do the bridge? About this length. You measure, it's about this length. You cut, very easy, you don't need two people. Well, if it's your first time, don't worry, you'll get better. Pull puppy's ears, there. Place there, go around here. Right here, you don't want this to hit your puppy's skin. So what I do is fold it. Fold it in, little bridge. And there it is. There's your puppy. He didn't cry. But remember, you have to make it as the best experience ever. This could take up to 18 months, depending how hard headed is your puppy. But keep on giving them that, the calcium pills and your puppy will stand up anytime. He's cute actually.